Hey, I'm still Jeremy, and we are biking through Osaka City at night. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a great crescent moon up in the sky. I don't know if it comes through on the video. Anyway, the point of today's video, and it's nice to see you again. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you especially to people who are watching after clicking the special link in the email, which gets you access to this video one day before everybody else watches it. Um, I'll link to that in the description. But anyway, what we're doing tonight is we are, well, we're doing two things. First, we're testing the camera out at night because it's my first time using it at night. Let's see if I got the settings right. And we're going to go to a park called Ogimachi Park, which is a kind of big park, sort of big-ish park in sort of central, north central Osaka. And it's uh, just going to see what's there. Maybe, maybe there's nothing there. I don't know who's going to be there or why anybody would be there or what they're doing. Maybe they're just some people walking around or whatever. Um, it's Friday night, so people are out, I guess, despite the coronavirus. I have only been to Ogimachi, Ogimachi Park a few times. A handful of times. And I've always liked it, but I never really had any reason to go there regularly. Maybe that will change tonight. Maybe I'll fall in love with it tonight. And we'll be going there two or three times a week from now on. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I looked at the map before I left the house and I think it was along this road. Ogimachi. I like the word, I like the name too, Ogimachi, I like the O-G-I, I like to say, that looks cool. None of this looks familiar yet, I do sort of know the area around it, but this doesn't look familiar. And it's actually after dinner, I just had dinner about an hour ago. Had some sushi and a couple other things and a beer. Blood sugar was a bit high before it. It's like 217. So I took 13 units of Humalog for that and the dinner. And now I'm biking around. I feel a little woozy, but I often feel woozy after eating. And it's been very uh, humid here anyway, so I bet the wooziness is from that, really. But as a diabetic, Anytime you feel woozy or think you imagine yourself feeling woozy, you can get paranoid about your blood sugar. So I will check it eventually. The thing about that though is that I use a blood sugar meter called One Drop and it's really nice. I like the way it works. I like the way it communicates with my phone and their app, the OneDrop app. But they don't ship to Japan. It's a real good system where it's like a monthly sort of subscription and whatever strips you need, you just buy it and the price is always the same. Uh, but they don't ship to Japan, so I have them send it to my mom's house in America and she sends it here and I have to pay extra for that. But it still, it still works out to be cheap. But, I guess, maybe because of the coronavirus or something, the recent package that she sent, about six weeks ago, has not arrived. The one she sent before that did arrive, but it was much later. Usually when the strip, when I, I can buy a box of 300 at a time. And when I get down to about half the box, 150 left, that's when I order a new, a new supply of 300. So I did that uh, a couple months ago. She sent them. It took uh, about a month to get here, but they did arrive in time. Everything was fine. These have not arrived, and so I've run out of the one drop strips. And I've gone back to my fallback meter, which is a one touch mini ultra or ultra mini, whatever it's called, that I bought in August of 2007, I think. And it still works. And I used to use that up until about three years ago. And I still had some strips over. The strips expired two years ago, but uh, 
the readings still seem accurate to me, so it's okay. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be going to a doctor. Actually, I went to a pharmacy about a week ago and said, well, I need a blood sugar meter. I've never bought one in Japan. I've only used American ones. You can buy, you can get the strips here usually. So one drop. Um, and I went to a pharmacy. I said, I need a meter. And they said, well, we kind of got these. We got these. They had some weird box of like single-use blood sugar checking things. I don't know what it was. It's like a lancet and a strip all in one thing. I don't know. And he said, and you can buy this machine. He gave me some leaflets. He said, we don't have any right now, but we can order you one. It would be here in about a week. I said, for a blood glucose monitor? Those are pretty common, you know. People in Japan have diabetes, but they didn't have any on hand. This, by the way, right ahead is Ogimachi Park. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I'm so enthralled by my blood sugar meter story. Turn green. Anyway. Um... And it turns out that these meters that they were selling at the pharmacy or could get for me were more for non-diabetics or for people who wanted to check their blood sugar for some other reason, which I didn't understand why that would be. I guess somebody does. So anyway, he said, if you really want, if you're just a diabetic who wants like a regular meter and strips, you should go to the doctor and see what they say, maybe get a prescription, go to the go to a different type of pharmacy that handles prescriptions and they get it. They can get it for you. So tomorrow morning I'm going to go see a doctor. I've only got maybe 15 of the other the backup strips left. When I'm done with those. That's it. No, I don't want a continuous glucose monitor. So don't, don't mention it. No, thank you. I like the meter idea. Check it every now and then, and otherwise don't worry about it. So I hope that goes well. I've never actually bought one in Japan. It'd be kind of exciting. A little diabetes Japan tech experiment. All right, if I can get into the park, I'll show it to you. Just going along the edge of it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful Ogimachi Park. So I don't really know how it's laid out. It's not real big, but let's just bike around the paths. The video gets pretty dark from this point. Bear with me and enjoy the mysterious atmosphere. You're the best. It's pretty close to Umeda, which is the big shopping and kind of business district of Osaka. So if you finished work in Umeda, you could walk over here. It's summertime, but it's, you know, not too hot at night here. It's kind of hot. It's kind of sticky. All right, let's go down here. So there are people here. What are they doing? Weird cut through, a concrete cut through in the hill that leads to some steps. But anyway, there's some uh, people playing soccer or something. A healthy thing to do with your Friday night. Not as healthy as my Friday night, which is drinking, uh, shooting insulin, drinking beer, and then going bike riding in the humid summertime. But we can't all be winners. What's this over here? I remember when I did come here before, I sat around here. I think it was a, like a summer night with a friend of mine or something. Oh, I was last here in, I don't know, when it was cold, December or something. A friend of mine, American friend of mine lives here and his brother visited from America. So we all three of us walked around here. Here's a machine. Okay, this machine this machine view is dedicated to Lydia. There's your machine. What would you like to have? I say go for the Coke Zero. No, go for the black coffee. Anyway. Again, I wish this fountain was on. Let's just go to this fountain. It has water in it, but it's not on. That one's not on, but there's like a ditch. So I guess this ditch leads into the fountain, but the ditch has run dry over here. How far back does it go? This looks like a place in some season that you could, maybe they cut it off for COVID, but you, they probably have water in here and you're supposed to sit on these little 
low walls and put your feet in it, like soak your feet. That is a thing some, some places. I don't know if it's a thing here. All right, let's continue back over here past the fountain and off to the right. I recall there's some kind of real thin, uh, like a narrow path that goes up around some weird hill. So you can find that. Couples sitting on benches, I won't bother them. This, is cool. this looks darker and less less visited. That's always the kind of part I like. When everybody goes somewhere, I want to see where else there is to go. Where are they neglecting? Contrarian travel brain. Okay, this is what I think I meant. Over here, somewhere, there's a curvy, narrow path over some hills. Feed pigeons because they will poop everywhere. Is that what this is? Something for pigeons? Like a hilltop playground over here. That's cool. See, this is a good place to just just come and hang out. Friday night or any night. The daytime it's probably a bit too a bit too hot right now. This big building over here, the one you can see it, can't really see it here at night on this camera probably, but it's a big blue building. I'm gonna go over here and see it better. And it's called the Nandemo Arena. Non-demo means whatever or anything. So I guess this arena is for whatever you want it to be for. This is actually the, uh, I think it's Kansai Television, some TV station, some TV network is housed around here. I don't know if this building's connected to it, but there it is. Let's see, can I bike across this field? I'm sure people do. I'm going to do it and see what signs that say no biking. Excuse me, everybody. Anyway, I'll go over here. Oh, there's a pool or something over here. Let's go see that. I did scope this out a bit on a map, but not very well. Follow that man. He's got groceries. And here's the pool with no water in it. I don't know, man. I don't know, Gimachi. It's kind of a letdown. You're not making the most out of your, your pools and your fountains. We go up here. Where does this go? Cool. Ooh, an inviting path. Oh, there's the pool. You can see it on the camera. There's a pool. I've never 
have been up here. He's got the left taken care of, so let's go up here to the right. This is a dark hidden corner. Maybe we'll see something untoward. Wouldn't that be exciting? Maybe we'll see a staircase that I don't see in time and we'll tumble down it. That is what's going on. I gotta go check my blood sugar. Although I've gotten to the point where I'm getting nervous about checking my blood sugar now because I have so few strips and no real, no real guarantee that I'm going to be able to find new ones. I used to buy one touch ultra mini strips from, from the doctor, but I looked recently on Amazon Japan just to see if they had them because sometimes they'd have them really expensive, but they would have them. Some third-party seller would be selling them, but they don't have them at all anymore. I think the One Touch Ultra Mini is very, very old tech, very out of date. If I can find a private space, I can check my blood sugar, but maybe not here with all these people around. Do you know where we are? Have you kept your bearings? You said over by the moribund foot bath, you are correct. All right, this is perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean nobody would think this is perfect but me. Now you, you're implicated in this too. I am sitting in pigeon poop, they were right. I've got a view of the moon. Now, on a recent video, I guessed my blood sugar and was exactly correct. So don't expect that again, but I guess that it is... See, right now it feels like it would be about... Uh, hard to say, maybe one, 146? Do I look like 146 to you? What do you think? Oh, 123. Not a bad guess. Not a bad question. 123. What would you do if you were biking and you found you were 123? Okay, let's go somewhere we can see the moon and we'll end the video there. Sarn this mic. Alright. Here we go. Can you see the moon? Probably can't see the moon in the video very well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I enjoyed this trip to um, uh, Omiyagi, to Ohogimachi Park. Here at night, this is what it looks like. There's a lot of cool parks like this. They're all a little different. They have a different... Um, different flavor. Like this one's kind of sports-minded because of the, the big field in the middle and the pool, which is an unusual touch. And the little weird foot bath, whatever that thing was. Blood sugar checking. Roost. So that was cool. So thanks for coming. Uh, please subscribe if you like this because there's a lot more where this came from. <laughs> I try to invite people to subscribe to my channel threateningly, as threateningly as I can. 
And if you'd like to watch these videos one day before the public can, you can subscribe to my free newsletter on t1dwanderer.com slash subscribe. Sign up for that, it's free, just enter your email address, and when a video comes out, or actually a day before a video comes out, I'll send you an email with the link in it, you can watch it before. Anyway, thank you very much, see you next time.